All right, we are going to try to do a diagram for you in your notebook based on the light reactions. So, we're going to start with photosystem 2. Remember, it goes in kind of a backwards order. I'm going to draw that as a rectangular box. And remember, in photosystem 2, we have lots of different chlorophyll molecules. See, I'll make those a little bit bigger. Again, you should be drawing what I'm drawing here, so hopefully you're following along. And here's our super chlorophyll molecule right there, the one that can do all the electron boosting. And we've got some light that has to come in. So we're going to draw a zigzag arrow of light. Now what I would do if I were you is label these little green dots as chlorophyll and label your zigzag arrow as light because that's going to help you remember what it is once you come back to it later on. I'm not going to do that because as you know my writing gets pretty sloppy on these. Um, but now that you've seen it through once I think you can figure out what you need to label. I'm just going to do the diagram. You do the labels. Alright, so remember light comes in activates those electrons in the chlorophyll molecule, bounces around from molecule to molecule until it finally gets to the super chlorophyll molecule, which can make that electron go to a higher energy level. And let's do our electrons in red, how about? So here's my shorthand for electron. In the process, we have water in the cells, remember, because you're watering your plant, you're taking good care of it. I'll put that down here. That through the process of boosting this electron, we split water into hydrogen ions, oxygen gas, and some more electrons. And those electrons go to resupply the chlorophyll that's boosting the electrons for our electron transport chain. The oxygen, remember, is released into the air, and the hydrogen ions will be used later. So that is our photosystem one, or two. <laughs> Goes backwards. Photosystem two. There. Hopefully that looks like a two. Now we're going to get over to photosystem one. Photosystem 1 and Joe draws another rectangle, but remember it's on the membrane. By the way, there are lots of these photosystems along the membrane. There's not just like one photosystem 2 and one photosystem 1 on the membrane. There are many of them. Um, we're going to label this as photosystem. Oh, that's not the one I wanted. There we go. We're going to label that as photosystem 1. Okay, connecting photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 are these proteins embedded in the membrane through which the electrons can be passed like a hot potato. And in the process of passing those electrons, we have ATP made, just like in cellular respiration. Photosystem 1 then also has multiple chlorophyll molecules in it and it's got our super chlorophyll molecule. The electron that we're just passing down through the electron transport chain ends up at that photosystem 1 super chlorophyll molecule. But remember it's got very low energy at this point. It's a cooled off potato. So we're going to need to energize it with something. That something is going to be sunlight again. Hits photosystem 1, bounces around, eventually gets to our super chlorophyll molecule and energizes that electron so that it's nice and energetic again. Draw in our electron. Now we've got a high energy electron that we can use to do something. 
once again, last time we used our high energy electron to make ATP. This time we're going to use that high energy electron to make something else. Here's our second electron transport chain. Again, that high energy electron is passed down the chain. The energy is used to make a new product, which we call NADPH. I'm going to fit mine on there. I'll just draw one more arrow to show the electrons being used to make NADPH. And remember the hydrogens from NADPH came from the hydrogens from splitting water. These are the two major products, recall, of the light reactions, NADPH and then the ATP. Oxygen gas, as I said earlier, is given off into the atmosphere. Hopefully that gives you a pretty good diagram of photosystem 1 and photosystem 2, which consist of the light reactions.